Uh, this is Keita Takayama. I'm going to facilitate the event today. Uh, we know that we have a lot of attendants from mm. Egypt. I want to give to uh, those who are joining us from Egypt, I want to give you a warm welcome. Uh, it's really nice to have you join our conversation today. So this is the one of the lecture series towards critical, historical, and transnational dialogue on Japanese model of education. And this is the eighth of the series. And today we have invited the professor Sugita Hiroshi from Faculty of Human Development of Kokugakuin University. And he's going to talk about the Japanese model of schooling, Tokatsu in Egypt, future challenges and possibilities. So Tokatsu or Tokubetsu Katsudo, an introduction of Tokatsu in Egyptian schools. In 2017 or 2018, I mean, we saw a lot of coverage in the Japanese news media, and I'm sure many of you have seen that or heard about this. So um, a lot of coverage on TV. And at the request of the Egyptian government, JICA took the leadership and then EJS, Egypt Jap Japan Schools, were established mainly in Cairo and Tokatsu was introduced. The Egyptian president was very enthusiastic and he even asked to Japan to bring 100 principals from Japan. So why in the first place, I wonder why Egypt was interested in Japanese model of schooling, in particular Tokatsu? At the time, I was very much interested in uh, what that's happening. And I came to Kyoto University and I started to do the research on this. And first, I applied for the subsidy uh, for the research, and uh, I did an interview. And uh, for the Tokats activity in Egypt, so many people were involved. For instance, uh, from the Japanese site, uh, Professor uh, Sugita uh, was the advisor uh, for the Egyptian government. And uh, many are the principals of the uh, Japanese uh, schools and also ex uh, the principals are teaching at EJS. Uh, for instance, uh, the embassy uh, of Egypt and the JICA office of people were involved in the starting up and uh, also Those uh, a development company for the consulting company with a commission uh, from JICA uh, working in the local area. And also uh, the Japanese professors uh, from the university who are in charge of the, the training uh, on the request from the Egyptian government. And also some of the, the universities accepted the trainees and also some people came as an interpreter. And therefore, uh, the human relations are so much uh, complexly intertwined. And how this project has uh, made him progress uh, thanks to the various uh, accidental events. And uh, this is uh, the target of my research activities. And so I did an interview in Japan. And then the next project was to go into Egypt to hear uh, from those who were involved in the uh, country. And, but at that moment, COVID-19 uh, caused us to cancel all the activities planned in March. There was uh, one winter day two years ago, and uh, I sent uh, email 
to Professor Sugita uh, to do some interview, but I couldn't receive uh, the response. I was uh, wondering whether I was uh, ignored, um, but uh, one day he called me. Uh, there is the, the research of the, the classroom activities at uh, elementary school in Tokyo, and he was uh, going to do the lecture, and he asked me whether I'm interested. You know, let's have a lunch together and uh, discuss. And finally, I learned that he was the person who was the person who is uh, talking. And I went to the school, and actually, there were uh, the school lunch for two persons. I was uh, thinking that uh, we were going to the restaurant nearby, therefore I was so much moved. It has been several decades after I did a training as a teacher uh, at a elementary school. However, at that time we were able to talk with each other in person, uh, eating school lunch. It has been only two years since then, but uh, it seems to me a long time in the past. After this interview for one hour, I also uh, went to uh, participate in the training uh, sessions. And uh, there was the lecture uh, scheduled, uh, and the speaker was uh, Professor Sugita, and there's so many teachers gathered in the gymnasium. Not only uh, the teacher of that particular school, but uh, they came from other schools nearby. It was a quite a cold day, freezing cold day. I was uh, seated in a seat nearest to the heater. Professor Sugita was the last lecturer. There are some uh, greetings by five or six uh, people the member of the parliament and uh, the president of Pichi and uh, the listeners were a bit uh, uh, bored by these uh, the common uh, greetings and uh, finally you know, the professor uh, Sugita uh, started his lecture and uh, this is extraordinarily uh, the lecture, which was unusual uh, from the viewpoint of the uh, regular uh, the lectures. He talked to the uh, listeners and passionately, and he talks about various episodes, including the episodes in Egypt. In addition to that, uh, how uh, the Japanese teachers were involved in the struggle uh, to develop a school how important it is to do the special activities, and then culminating in the images and the music, heartwarming and moving episodes were introduced, and those on top of that, uh, we were engulfed with, by the music and images, uh, which were quite moving. And, uh, I was listening to Professor Sugita's lecture as one of the target of the research, but uh, I was enchanted by how he talked. And also the people in the auditorium were also enchanted uh, by his uh, charm. And in the middle of the uh, lecture, some people started to sob. And in the latter half of the lecture, some people were started, actually started to cry, and they needed a handkerchief. I participated in this kind of a lecture meeting for the training session of the teachers, but that was the first time for me to shed the tears. What kind of lecture are we going to hear? Probably not as moving as the one I heard, but uh, I'm looking forward to listen to his experience in Egypt in full. I uh, do the research about the introduction of the Tokats in Egypt, and therefore, after the lecture, we're going to have discussion sessions, and I want to 
uh, ask me questions, direct and a bit indirect questions. Uh, Professor uh, Sugita, thank you very much for accepting this uh, lecture and uh, please uh, start your lecture. Uh, hello, everyone, and thank you very much for the introduction. My name is Sugita from Kokugakuin University. Professor Takayama uh, gave me a very warm welcome and introduction. I feel like he set the bar higher, but I remember uh, when we talked, he was asking me to give a speech in this kind of occasion. So back then, I wasn't really sure what the objective was, but I said yes, anyhow. But I hope I can meet his expectation, and I'm very happy to talk to you today. So the title of my lecture is The Japanese Model of Schooling, Tokatsu in Egypt, and Future Challenges and Possibilities. So first, and we have a lot of people um, attending from Egypt, and I really want to thank everyone for your participation. I know what's very important for the future progress of Tokatsu is to have many people interested in this Tokatsu. This applies to everyone in Egypt as well as everyone involved in Japan as well. So we need to have more people interested in Tokatsu and I believe uh, that's why we have, I mean, I have the reason to talk about this today. So allow me to share the screen from my side. So if you look at the first page of my slide deck, you know, kids doing the classroom cleaning, they have classroom class meeting, and then we have class guidance. Here, uh, there are students uh, with the scarf on their head. They are the class leader of the day. This is staff meeting. I picked some of the representative pictures. And it looked as if, um, it looked the same as the Japanese school. Uh, uh, Mr. Ta uh, Professor Takayama mentioned EJS, and here's the logo, Egyptian Japanese school. We have the pyramid, the Nile, and the symbol of Japan. It's very exciting. So this is the bridge between Egypt and Japan and I feel very hopeful and I really like this logo. So now I want to go into the main topic. So first, I want to talk about the positioning of Tokubetsu Katsudo, which means special activities in Japanese curriculum. So initially, it was on extracurricular activities. You know, teachers used their experience and did a lot of extracurricular activities, and that's where Tokatsu started from. And first, there is a draft of course of study in 1951, and then the word the extracurricular changed actually to curricular, and then it was changed from study subject curriculum to educational curriculum. So it says special activities should not be considered as extracurricular or subcurricular. Studying subjects is not sufficient to completely achieve the general objective of education. So this is what's described in the 1951 draft of the course of study in Japan. And since then, all the way to today, I mean, there has been always a debate whether or not we should put the priority on the study subject or the education and what's the best balance between these two. Especially when I mean, there is a strong tendency that people start to doubt the balance when there are deterioration of academic scores. So it means that tokatsu, or this type of activities, are valued um, in good times, 
But if there are issues with academic performance, then you know, we tend to put the focus on academic achievement, and it has been going on for a long time. In 1958, the official course of study was implemented. And here, that there is a definition of school education. So the role of school is a whole person education, including knowledge, morale, and physical health. So rather than just uh, quantifying the academic performance, but what's also important is the personality or character of the students. And I think that's a very important part of the school education in Japan. So cleaning we do today has been going on for a long time. And the class meeting used to be called class autonomous meeting. And Similarly, there is a student council, a school autonomous association. Sports day has been around for a long time as well. One of the reasons is because the general headquarters of the US uh, set up a lot of association in Japan as part of the democratization of Japan. So back then, I just want to go over some of the old document to see what was the expectation back then. So as it's written here, you know, the children will be able to learn many of the objectives of the moral education through their practices. And as, a, as an example, there is a participation of the students in the management of schools so that they can consider school as the society for them. So the, the concept, the school as a society for the students has become very general in Japan. School is a form of society for children and the students. And there is a clear recognition then the children can enjoy the life in school. Also, enhance the capabilities to solve issues in school. Respect the etiquette, manners, create great school culture together, or enhance their planning and cooperative skills so that they can feel rewarded by completing tasks and learn how to live in a democratic society and learn the leadership and friendship. Also, uh, nurture a sense of service and become aware of the social responsibility and have suitable attitudes as a, constitu a constituent of society and habitual behavior of better health and sanitation. So this, the list goes on and it shows that the tokatsu is a very important part of education. So what about today? What's the role of tokatsu in educational activities? And I just want to share another document. This is an excerpt from 2017. There is an explanatory document of course of study published in 2017. And in this, there is a description about tokatsu. So tokatsu refers to activities in general, which aims for finding and solving issues to improve the group they belong to and their school life through a variety of group activities. Also, tokatsu is an educational activity to develop general social skills. Again, the word society or social comes in here. Uh, with hands-on activities, with the qualities and capabilities the students obtain from a variety of subjects at their school, which is the society for them. So to put it simple, they, what they... I mean, the students will learn and they should be able to apply that in the society. So that when they go into the society and they have a lot of, uh, they have the qualities and capabilities that they learn from tokatsu will be useful. 
very practical knowledge for them. So in the past, so tokatsu uh, has been considered as the integral part of students' character formation and receiving a lot of international acclaim. As you know, at the time of the earthquake in Eastern Japan, so many people were killed. Adults, children, teachers, so many people were killed in the earthquake and a tsunami. This kind of a natural disaster should happen in overseas country, but the, the violent uh, incidents in the world, but uh, this didn't happen at all uh, in Japan at the time of the earthquake. And uh, the gymnasium became the p place of uh, the refugee and uh, uh, the local government, the people were not involved. Uh, for instance, uh, those are people who came to uh, be here, uh, discussed when and how to turn off the light, where people should stay. In that case, pregnant women, elderly people, the babies and children, those people with the disabilities, these are the vulnerable people, particularly and they were put uh, to the highest priority. Many people came to help uh, from the nearby villages, very close to things that uh, we do in schools. Rather than uh, do things uh, with a force, we discuss. And in that case, we take a consolation do consolation to the uh, weaker people, vulnerable people. This is uh, done in the special activity, tokats as well. And uh, there were no railroad services. And uh, in order to receive a uh, food, uh, for instance, that uh, people were seated so that the people could walk uh, through uh, this uh, space. For instance, in our daily life, uh, we make a queue to ride on the train, for instance. It's not the first come first service. And we make a queue, therefore we try to make it as fair as possible, as equal as possible. This is an example of the World Cup, the Japanese, uh, the the players were defeated, but they cleaned the room after that defeat. And the supporters were cleaning in this way the garbages and the trash, uh, which were left by people from other countries, which is covered by the news program. We do not clean because uh, the room is dirty. We keep it clean, so we do not uh, make it dirty. When you use some facility, we try to make it cleaner or more beautiful than the time you enter the particular place or space. And this is what we do in Japan. Now, seven or eight years ago, I was doing the inspector of the mixed and from uh, Africa and also Middle East, people came to uh, listen to my talk. This is an example from Oman and also Qatar at the Japanese school. Uh, we had the, the special uh, the study uh, meeting with the teachers. For instance, uh, when uh, the period is only uh, 45 minutes, and uh, why do you take only just, just one uh, question? Because uh, they wanted to teach as much as possible during this uh, 45 minutes uh, period in a crummy way. Now, 
This is an example of the teachers from Saudi Arabia. Uh, this is uh, one of the university in Mongolia. And uh, inviting the Japanese researchers uh, doing this uh, the learning activity. And also uh, the Japanese researchers were invited also in Indonesia, in Egypt. This was the state activity. The national government uh, wanted to introduce the Japanese style and also the Japanese style school to be established. And also curriculum would include also tokkatsu. Therefore, in this way, Egypt, example of Egypt, was unique and the most uh, special. In Egypt, uh, this method was accepted. There are several uh, factors. First of all, uh, the president of Egypt and the Japanese prime minister uh, made the pledges to cooperate with each other. Based upon the national project called EJEP. This is a partnership program under the very strong leadership by the president. And this was accomplished and introduced as a national level project. In addition, uh, so many people taught me in Egypt they do have the great respect to all the Japanese people. I felt honored by that, particularly uh, the TV program entitled Oshim, spelling uh, popular, even though they were defeated in war. Uh, they tried to uh, overcome uh, the poverty and then became one of the industrialized countries in the world. Some Egyptian people uh, gave a name, Oshim, uh, to children. And also the Egyptian man wanted to have a Japanese wife, uh, for instance. And also uh, electronic uh, and electric uh, products and uh, automobiles uh, very famous uh, products which uh, come from Japan. The Shishi, the president, uh, talked about uh, morale, discipline, and uh, co uh, cooperation. Uh, he wanted to uh, have the children in Egypt learn these virtues. And uh, We were very much ha happy uh, to hear his opinion that uh, this kind of a system is uh, quite uh, the close to the heart of the religion. And uh, so many people were involved. The Ministry of Education uh, was involved. In addition, for instance, EJS teachers and the pilot uh, schools, uh, these are people, excellent people. When they learned something uh, from Japan, they reproduced precisely uh, in Egypt. And we built the trusting relationship between us. And locally, as uh, uh, Professor Takayama mentioned, there's so many people uh, help uh, them. For instance, uh, JICA consulting companies and overseas cooperation uh, by younger people, and particularly the excellent interpreters. And this made a great contribution to the promotion of Tokkatsu in Egypt. In addition to these four factors, uh, there was another project, Education 2.0. Uh, this was a major education reform of the country. As a result, uh, the Tokkatsu was uh, included as an official subject in the curriculum. Now I'd like to talk about how it started, uh, the 
form type, Japanese type tokatsu in Egypt. In the beginning, Egypt, this is a Japan Egypt education partnership, uh, was to be introduced, but uh, there was a prior and a research at the two pilot schools whether this could be feasible or not. For instance, a cleaning, there's no cleaning equipment, and the students on duty for that particular day, the, uh, the washing the hand with a soap and the position of the, uh, the students at the right positions and the punctuality and uh, the test of the physical fitness. And we up early, go to bed early and eat breakfast and in five minutes uh, calculation drills and also discussion. So uh, these are the examples. And we call them tokatsu, these nine activities. So when you look at each one of them, actually, These are the representation of Japanese school life, which is the part of the scope of tokatsu. So if you, strictly speaking, if you look at tokatsu, special activities defined in the course of study in Japan, only have this discussion activity. But because um, we introduced in such a way, I think it was well accepted in the beginning. So students having discussion on their own or they take initiative on their own, it must have been not easy. But this doesn't take a lot of cost and time and they started implementing things that's easy to implement. And I think that was the key of smooth introduction of Tokatsu. Uh, cleaning, uh, in some cases, it was hard to accept because typically uh, sometimes the schools had janitors and they do the cleaning and some people wonder why children have to do the cleaning and some parents had the very strong resistance. But principals and teachers they continue to explain the rational behind this and that really changed the attitude of the parents as well. In some cases, parents donated some of the cleaning uh, tools for cleaning. And eventually they started cleaning using tools. On the other hand, I mean, again, something that we did not uh, expect, but the class leader of the day was pretty uh, popular and well accepted. Maybe the way they see it is a little bit different from Japan, but they call and they, they consider this as the leader. In Egypt, teachers uh, appoint the student and that student appointed by the teacher continued to serve as the leader in the class all the time. But Nichoku system is the one that you rotate the leader on the day every day. So children felt very motivated and children accepted this very well. And in addition, uh, there, are, there is an interest in research in Japan and according to that study result, in the class where children are active or in tokatsu, and in the class where teachers also enthusiastic about um, tokatsu, they end up having higher academic achievement. And that was found out in the study in Japan. So the better relationship that you are able to obtain from tokatsu lead to a stable team environment where you are free to express your opinion, and because discussion is such a routine, so the capabilities that you learn from discussion is now supporting the active learning. 
So the Tokatsu activity had a positive impact on academic performance in such a way, and that was that's the analysis that we have today. Well, in fact, in June 2016, that's the time that you know we were about to start this initiative. And we needed to make a decision where to start in Egypt. And we invited people in education from Egypt to Japan. So basically, I explained what I just talked about to the people from Egypt. So the, this is the head of the primary and secondary education bureau. And the, the, this is the final summary. Cleaning, this is a cluster about cleaning. And this is about the leader of the class, uh, class leader of the day. And you also have the class journal, daily journal. As a part of the core activities, the dialogue, discussion always have to be at the core. And by repeating this, you can um, nurture the leadership, cooperation, teamwork, and also had the sense of role and responsibility. And uh, here's another comment saying that start from the teacher initiated, but eventually you need to give the initiative and leadership to children or the students. So that was also mentioned in this meeting. So Tokatsu, if you think about the scope of Tokatsu, some of the activities are directed by the teacher, and some are led by students. But class leader of the day and cleaning is the one that led by the teacher, and then activities to, should be initiated by the students are on the right. But the hanashiai or the discussion or dialogue always have to be at the center. And back then, we started to call this tokatsu plus because Plus includes school management, delegation of work in school, staff meeting, monthly planning, and also class management. Now, I'm going to talk about the actual promotion of tokatsu in Egyptian schools and then how I was involved in that. So at pilot schools, EJS, and there, I was involved in the workshops for the teachers in EJS as well as pilot schools. And Tokatsu officers, I mean, they are the trainers or the leader of Tokatsu, so I was involved in train the trainer program. Back then, we call them master trainers. And I also conducted, uh, repeat, I repeated the workshops for the master trainers as well. Maybe some of you are attending this Zoom meeting today. And I also supported the training conducted in Japan for them. And we, I also helped prepare the teacher's guide for Tokatsu. This is like the explanatory document for course of study in Japan, but I gave some input and advice. And I also uh, did some media appearance and also lecture at universities. Now, I have uh, um, video footage, uh, how it was covered by the media in Japan back then. In this way, uh, this is the news uh, coverage on uh, the topic of uh, Tokatsu. In order to introduce uh, Tokatsu, I expected that it would require a long time, but uh, so many uh, Egyptian teachers learned uh, with a uh, passion. One of the good points and effective uh, points is that uh, uh, we show the process of learning in the manner uh, easy to understand. For instance, the activities of the uh, the school 
in, instead of the activity, we started to uh, share the school instructions by the teachers. It's easier for them to adapt. In addition, the uh, instruction curriculum was produced repeatedly, and we repeated the workshop as well, so that they can build their capacity. They are so engaged uh, with passion and through their stick. So from the viewpoint of uh, us who are the instructors, actually we were also encouraged by their passion. Regarding the classroom uh, meeting, we try to put on table as many opinions as possible, compare them, and finally we come to uh, the consensus or point of a decision. For instance, uh, I think this way, and I and you share this opinion, and finally we come to the conclusion in saying that we think this way. So I, I and you, and finally we. These are the master trainers in those days. First, we wanted them to have the direct experience by themselves. For instance, agenda items. When they uh, came to Japan for the other uh, training session, uh, what uh, kind of activity is uh, most suitable for the one hour uh, free time? But uh, they wanted to go to the diversity of our places. They want to go all over the places. Therefore, it was so difficult to come to the consensus. So they learned and had a direct experience that uh, coming to the consensus was difficult. But uh, they welcomed us with a warm heart. And uh, therefore, I think uh, the Egyptians are they're very close to me and charming. And I love their uh, national character. Therefore, I was even more involved. For instance, uh, this is an example of the lesson studies. And I try to convey uh, the method of our lesson studies as well. In the, all the lesson studies, uh, we collect all of the opinions first, and then finally uh, we finish with the same thing. They were interested in the way of thinking uh, of Japanese people. In addition to myself, uh, other university professors visited and we uh, gave a training uh, together and it was very effective. Now, uh, the first uh, public school uh, with a 
uh, Japan in its name was inaugurated for the first time in overseas country. This is uh, uh, the examples of the uh, the 40 other schools in Egypt. At this moment, it has increased to 43 schools, uh, the Egyptian Japanese schools. Tuition is a bit uh, expensive, but uh, so many people want to enter uh, these uh, schools. Therefore, these schools are very popular among Egyptians. And as uh, Dr. Takayama mentioned earlier, Japanese teachers actually go to those schools and they served as supervisors. At this moment, as you can see in the map, we have supervisors in these schools. And Tokatsu is already part of the school uh, weekly timetable, and I think this is very significant. But of course, there are challenges. Well, first and foremost, Tokatsu doesn't have a textbook. So when it comes to, you know, leading the class, and then we have to have a good understanding there, otherwise we can't take the best out of this time. And as I talked about this earlier, there's a new curriculum, education under education 2.0. And the evaluation of Tokatsu has changed as well. So now we have the new curriculum, and we also have to think about the relation of Tokatsu to the new curriculum. And this is the equivalent of the report card in Japan, and they also have this in, um, in 18,000 schools. And what was the most difficult part for me to communicate is that the Japanese curriculum is rather complex. So here's Tokatsu, and if you think about the management of school in Japan, there's a staff meeting, and there's project team, and there's a lesson study or intramural seminars, collaboration with the local community, and you have parents and you need to work with them. There's PTA and there's communication booklet. And then we also have to manage the classes. And what's connecting all this, the keyword is the team. The word team is the key here. Team based on discussion and we need to form a team. So that's the concept. Tokatsu actually at its core, we have discussion and dialogue. And teachers as part of the team. And then we need to be aligned to work on the challenges of school. And I think I repeated this message several times. If you know teachers have different opinion or the how they do tokatsu is different, then it's very difficult to come up with the results. Uh, and I used an analogy of the boat and who are rowing the boat. If Even though every one of them is exerting the full power, but if you are going to a different direction, then both will never go forward. Or principal should not have one-way communication or direction to individual teachers, but the principals need to put the high value on mutual communication and also promote the communication among teachers so that we can solicit a proactive um, attitude of each individual teacher. And I believe that I repeated this message several times as well. And this is really at the core of the philosophy in Japan. So dialogue or conversation. And the same goes to the children. They need to discuss and find a solution 
for issues they have in the class. And that's the role expected in class meeting. And when I talk about this, I talk about fish and fish tank. In order to have good water in a fish tank, I mean, what can we do? So it's like discussing this kind of issue. You know, Japanese teachers focus on the better environment or the better team. So loving your friends lead to loving your country. And if you can solve the issues in the class, even though it's small, but the children get the will be able to solve the issues in a society in the future. So it's the thinking like this. So in order to make, well, in order for them, uh, for them to become a constituent of better nation or better society, Tokatsu is a great way for the children to learn how to build a team. So in order to build a better team or in order to solve the real life issues and then discuss and then decide what a team should do or each member of the team should do. And in Tokatsu, they try to achieve this through dialogue or discussion. So by repeating this, they will accept the difference and diversity and learn how to coexist. As part as a member of society, they understand to live their life by fulfilling their roles and responsibility. And also they learn about who they want to be and then continue to work toward their dream. So these three qualities uh, need to be developed through the iteration of activities. For example, if you have a good followership, then that will lead to leadership. Or think about the freedom and responsibility, rights and obligations, or group versus individual, or public and private. So these are the things that they learn through the activity like tokatsu. And this, again, will help constitute better nation and society. So if we look at the closer look of the relationship between the different components, we have a team discussion, and we also have the leadership uh, of the principal. This is basically the management policy. You make a plan and the project team is the one that execute. And the school um, lesson study is the one to enhance the capability for execution. So the education doesn't really stay within school only. You involve the neighborhood and you also involve parents. And each teacher of the class need to make their efforts to realize the vision or the objective set by the principal and evaluation should be in place. And we also need to get the evaluation by the parents as well as the neighborhood or community. And the class management uh, is a word to describe what the class teacher need to do. Some uh, are related to the education guidance. The other one related to team building or class building. And also other activities related to preparing the environment. And relational approach. So these are the major four areas. And you need to build or make a plan and you need to execute. You need to submit that to the principal and do check as part of the cycle and then you get the evaluation or feedback from the principal. And now 
Uh, this is also ref in some schools they reflect this part, uh, this feedback on the compensation. So when the children come to school and then before they leave, there are four classes in the morning and two classes in the afternoon. So typically they have six classes. If it's just classes, then there is no school life, and then we don't have to have tokatsu, morning meeting, and then farewell meeting. And we also have a break in Japan, which is about 45 to 50 minutes. And then we also have sanitation, uh, awareness, school lunch, cleaning. And in addition to that, we also have tokatsu of club activities and find five kinds of school events on a regular basis or sometimes on a regular basis so that the school life will be further enriched. And the children are directly involved in these activities to make the life at school even richer with the school or classroom meetings. Therefore, Japanese school is not just a place to uh, study together, play together and enjoy together, work together and cooperate with each other to create something. Therefore, Japanese schools are one society. Therefore, how to do the study, how to spend uh, the break, the various uh, roles uh, would appear in the life in the school. How to lead the life at school uh, and the second uh, part of the class activity is has a target of uh, learning these. And the number three is uh, how to work and create objectives and try to achieve these objectives in the third classroom activities. And for the collective actions, how to create a group, actually the children are involved. For instance, uh, the class meeting creates the objectives and extracurricular activities are organized for this purpose. Therefore, this is our class. This is the activity that school. We want to enjoy more. We want to have more friendly activities and we want to make it more convenient. So plan to check action cycle is used uh, to establish the activity targets and form consensus. And play the part actively and the person in a society and accept the differences and the diversities and the live together. So this is how the children should develop. And also how to develop yourself is another aspect of the school activity. For instance, I want to do this and set the target and make effort to achieve that goal. For instance, uh, this is uh, uh, the activity to uh, develop uh, children uh, who can achieve self-realization. This is a talk that's rather difficult to understand, but uh, for the management of the class, management of the school, uh, the uh, life of the school children are critical, important elements for uh, the cycle of a PDCA. For the purpose, tokatsu have uh, the part of the classroom management and the school management and organizations. For instance, uh, school events uh, should be done in cooperation with the parents and the community citizens. Otherwise, they will not uh, be realized. As I mentioned in the beginning, the school and the classroom that uh, adult uh, would create for the better, um, but uh, that will translate it to the children's activity that they themselves try to make things better. So this is uh, reciprocal 
activities from the adults and the children to make the school and the class better and and their uh, miniature style, uh, the tokkatsu as well in the school. Most of my roles that I play uh, is activity and experience that uh, uh, most of the Japanese people have their own experience and uh, easy to communicate to Japanese people, but not uh, so easy to uh, communicate to uh, people in the other country. I use a lot of images and the video. I think uh, this video was quite easy to understand uh, by the Egyptian people. So I'd like to share that with you. Tokkatsu, uh, special activities uh, toward these uh, uh, children like her uh, with a handicap or disability, uh, we do not uh, order them to help her. We do not uh, make uh, documents. All of the school children in the class will discuss, and they discuss with each other and decide and follow it uh, through. Or what I can do for her. And uh, autonomously, the person should decide, think about it, decide. And through the experiences, learn how a human being should live. I actually went to monitor one of the EJS um, where they had the class meeting and they were discussing about how they're going to have a class party. And then they started to talk about their friend Malak, who just passed away, and they were actually discussing what they can do for the parents of Malak, the girl on the left, this girl. And they were really um, having discussion and thinking hard. So these activities really Uh, looks like uh, these activities show that Tokatsu is really taking root in Egypt. And master trainers in Egypt, now they're called Tokatsu officers, but they are so good and they've been doing it very effectively. Now, Tokatsu officers, and there is an evaluation for them so that we can provide endorsement and there is a certification uh, they are about to start the certification program so tokatsu brought changes in the mindset and i think that's the most significant part of tokatsu for example by having discussion and then create more uh, better or fun life in school and by repeating these kind of activities children start to look at the school that they want to go there ra rather than avoiding to go to school and one of the chairman of pta well actually some EJ ejs already have pta organizations and one chairman said, when you do something wrong, uh, we kind of uh, threaten the children that you have to go to school. But now we can say that you don't get to go to school if you do anything wrong. So that was a major change. And children take the initiative in planning and discussing. And through these activities, they... Uh, they understand how important it is to do a proactive learning rather than being crammed with knowledge. And they also try to work together to reach the consensus. This is very important to find out the answer beyond the boundaries of difference and diversity in order to find a solution to conflicts. We shouldn't try to come up with the optimal answer, but the answer that everybody can be satisfied. So respecting each one of us is also important concept. 
And by clarifying the process and going through the discussion, the children can develop their capabilities in thinking as well as expressing. So school is not something that's given to them, but rather school is the one that they can build or they can form. So they have a role to play in school and they feel the pleasure of completing the work of so rather than, well, not just part of the one-way discipline, but we make children think why this is important and then try to help them solve their own problems. So there's another behavioral change. So rather than using the carrot and stick or the punishment and reward, it's important to let the children think about the issues and solution. Well, EJ, in EJS, even uh, in the COVID-19 pandemic, we did not actually have to teach them again because the children already had good sanitation habits. So some of the tokatsu uh, that gained a lot of um, buy-in from the people in Egypt is that the school is the society. It's like your own house, so you clean your own house, uh, you clean your school as if you clean your own room. And it's not the elite type of education that you are selecting on some of the good students, but rather all the students should be given the opportunity to um, w w uh, work as a leader. So it's not an instruction, but it's not an order, but we need to believe in and expect the children and let them do the work. And we also need to monitor them. And there are some tokatsu that was difficult to get the understanding because when we try to give the leadership role to many children and rather than not instruction and not order, and some people tend to think this function is tokatsu. So some people said that maybe we can do the national language as part of tokatsu or include tokatsu in every subject. So that was a little confusing. And then we also have a Fukui style education um, in uh, training in Japan, and there was some confusion with Fukui based training and tokatsu and reaching consensus and discussion for decision making. I mean, that's hard to differentiate, and then we, we observed in some guidance those were mixed up. And the class meeting in Japan, and some people thought it's like a voting system. And some had a misunderstanding that the class meeting is a place where you talk about the ideals rather than thinking about the feasibility. And in sometimes consensus meant losing to some Egyptians and some people really uh, couldn't understand why it is important to form a consensus. So because we show the basic form of fokatsu and sometimes it was difficult to apply in other areas. Or sometimes the class meeting became like a drama. And when we use the word appropriate competition, that was uh, misunderstood sometimes and some teachers used ranking system to compare students or children and there are some issues there but some people had some difficult time understanding the issue and tokatsu for a special ed children and many people uh, many teachers didn't know what to do for the special ed children and these are the future challenges both parents and teachers first and foremost, need to have good understanding of tokatsu in EJS. And I think it's very critical that people can feel the importance so that we can spread this to other schools. And another challenge, if you think about the teachers working in public, general public schools and their compensation and their motivation, and there are many systems in place or facilities.
these can be challenges to roll out Tokazu. So we need to train more Tokazu officers so that we have more trainers for general public schools as well. And we need to have, uh, we need to hire more suitable Japanese supervisors so that they can facilitate appropriate guidance in schools and in universities where they uh, give education to the future teachers. Maybe we can think of a diploma system for Tokatsu. In order to make this a uh, sustainable um, Tokatsu, it's very important to lay the good foundation. So what about the possibilities of spreading this outside of Egypt? I mean, technology will evolve in the future and there, there will be more and more personalization. But no matter what the future will be for us, I mean, living with a diverse population and living life as the part of society, this is not going to change. In the world, there are many multicultural and multiracial countries, and I believe Tokatsu will be very effective. If you think about SDGs, again, there is another implication. And the people and the society will define the objectives and live better. That is a critical. But uh, just uh, telling them to do it is not sufficient. Tokatsu is more direct. And this is a target of the education. On the other hand, Japanese uh, Tokatsu is uh, considered as uh, placing the importance upon the cooperation, collaboration, and less priority upon the individuality, and the collectivity is considered as the, the pressure for homogeneity. People in the world are moving toward individualism. Therefore, we need to think about both aspects. Important thing is that this is not a dichotomy. We would look at both sides. We would place importance upon the individuality. And also, at the same time, we would live together in harmony. This is not a dichotomy at all. And uh, the Egypt is uh, fortunate because the introduction was uh, done in a manner top-down. But uh, there are other countries uh, in which this is not possible. Rather than setting the specific time slots in the future, we would like to develop a compact tokatsu, which can be realized in the small amount of time. This is the manga or comic book, which was created in Japan. Title, uh, the there are 120 seconds, uh, the version, but always the title is the first step. The first step uh, can occur at any moment. I want to be a person like this as a primary step. I want to create this kind of society. When you have the wish, then that is your first step. Always there is a first step step, have objectives, and live autonomously in order to realize yourself. So you need to continue to make the first step or first steps continuously. That is a critical. If you do not have the objectives or the targets, even though you have the marvelous, glorious results in the past or the achievement in the past would fade. However, if you have the objectives or scope at this moment, then if you have had the failure in the past and the uh, poor results in the past, you can think that this is the moment that, uh, which is different from the past. So how you live today will give values 
to your life in the past. So the Tokatsu place the greatest importance upon this first step. Finally, Confucius is a philosopher in China. From the apprentice, uh, the disciples, uh, he was asked, what was the most important thing for the human being? The most important thing as a person. Confucius thought about it for a moment, and he said, Jew. Simply put, we burden everything. There are many conflicts in the world, and we have to start from uh, burdening others, and then you need to understand each other. That is a spirit, integral spirit of Atokas as well. I'm sorry that I talked uh, so much and uh, too long, but uh, please have the, uh, the spirit of joy yourself, and uh, please pardon me. But uh, thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.